All right, so I was wrong about something for way too long, which I'm gonna get into in just a second. But before I do, let's talk about getting results. Let's talk about creating success. And then this whole thing will make a lot more sense. So success for me means that I have way more income, way more money than I actually need. For me, that gives me peace. That gives me this feeling of security because for me, and I've shared some of this with you guys on the channel before, for growing up the way that I did with very, very little put me in a position as an adult to say I never want to feel that way again. Now, in order to get those results coming up in the business world, I really bought into the grind mentality. Because when you see regret in a man's eyes, it's fucking painful because you, have, you can't do shit about it. And at the time, there were stories from Gary V or messages from Gary V or, you know, Eric E.T., the hip hop preacher, who used to say all the time, you know, sleep is for the broke. Sleep is for those people who are broke. It was almost like you would wear a badge of honor the more and more and more and more you would work. Now, stick with me, because this doesn't mean we get to be let off the hook with grinding or working very hard. I'll come back to that in just a second. This story has to do with the importance of rest and recovery. And rest and recovery, not from the standpoint of just you having the ability to take breaks, but rest and recovery in the manner of it being strategic as a way to be more productive. So for me, for a long, 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 long time, I was very bought into the notion of grind, sun up, sun down, seven days a week no days off because I had the badge of honor that said, if I take a day off, that was a sign of weakness. And then that put me right back in the thought of pain of growing up in poverty in my early years as a young child. So that brought too much pain. So I never took a day off. But here's the thing. I remember this about two and a half, three years ago, feeling a real sense of burnout. I never felt this before, but burnout for me meant that it's not that I was just tired. I mean, I can fight through that. Burnout was literally, I couldn't get a sentence out. I couldn't think, I couldn't write. I was making awful business decisions, terrible business decisions. Well, I was hiring the wrong people, firing the wrong people, quite frankly. And so, you know, I went on this trip with my wife and my kids because my daughter had a horse show. At the time, I didn't understand. I didn't really buy into rest and recovery, drove my family nuts. Then I came back from this trip and the way I felt, the, the amount of productivity that I felt was unlike something I ever felt like before, or at least for a long period of time, where I wasn't able to write. I could sit down for 90 minutes or two hours straight and jam out writing in, at the time, my, my new book, or today it's maybe writing a new course for the agents in my mastermind. The way in which I was able to produce when I came back from that trip made me go all in on researching the science behind rest and recovery which brought me to making this video today. I went on a recent trip with my wife who took me away for a weekend for my 40th birthday. And it was amazing. And I said, okay, I'm gonna document this entire trip and kind of walk you guys through the trip because it was the same thing happened that happened two years ago. You know, I've been feeling just exhausted lately, uninspired lately, having a difficult time focusing on the most important projects that my company needs me to do for the last probably six, nine, 12 months, been having a very difficult time being able to focus on those things and that feel of burnout coming back. And now coming back from this trip, this long weekend, I like feel this new sense of inspiration, thus making this video. And it's just the importance of something that I just dismissed for way too long. And that is looking at rest and recovery as a weakness versus it being actual a strategy in being more productive. Because here's the thought or the big idea of this video that I want to share with you guys that weekends are earned. And the way that I went about my business for a long time in real estate was I told you I would work sun up to sundown seven days a week. And if I didn't, if I got to a Saturday or Sunday and I found myself not working for whatever reason, I would carry around this guilt, this feeling like I should be working when I'm not. Fast forward to today, 
Here's the big idea is that if you really put it all out, you really work, you work extremely hard during the week, you fulfill all of your obligations, you follow through on all of your commitments that you can earn a weekend of rest and recovery, not because of the idea that you deserve a break, although you probably do, it's because you can be more productive the week after. And for me, I said the whole time I was fighting rest and recovery, thinking that that was a weakness. Now it's my secret strength that when I come back refreshed, I can actually get more done in less time than I did before never taking a break. And rather than looking at rest and recovery as a weakness, looking at it and not just my opinion, but after doing so much research that the humans that are the highest performers on the planet and how they strategize around their rest and recovery. There's all kinds of stories about the greatest entrepreneurs on the planet that schedule a week off every week, that schedule a month off every year. They make sure they get a daily walk in every single day, get into nature every single day, that they have time where they have scheduled, where they're not working, where they're not over overly stimulated by content or learning or in meetings that can allow their mind to be at peace so that when they come back to the work, their level of productivity increases 10x, 20x, sometimes 100 times more than they could have had they not gone through their rest and recovery phase. So my point in this video for you guys is to consider the fact that rest and recovery is a real thing, that rest and recovery isn't something that you should feel bad about. And at the same time, rest and recovery should be something that we earn and not something that we're entitled to. That Saturday and Sunday should be a celebration of rest and recovery, not because it's the weekend, but because you earned it.